Uh, Aloha volleyball fans. This is Hawaii coach uh, Charlie Wade. I'm joined today by seniors, Pat Gassman, James Anastasiadis, uh, Rado Parapunov, and Colton Cowell. We're excited about news coming out of uh, our athletic department today that the, uh, the policy and the path to allow the seniors to extend their eligibility has been defined. Obviously, this is a trying time for everyone, and I think this decision uh, is one that we were hopeful would be made, and uh, we're excited about um, the future that, uh, that not only the Warrior Volleyball has, but just for our community as we start to move forward. I think this is a, a nice step to, to kind of get us back on a path to normalcy, at least for us looking forward to next year. Um, you know, and I, I've said before, these guys have gotten all kinds of awards and recognition and, and really are, um, you know, great representatives of not only the program, but of the university and of the state. So having an opportunity to be around them for another year uh, is really gratifying for me. I'm excited about the, the leadership and maturity that they bring into our practice gym and helping our young players evolve. Um, and they're pretty good volleyball players, you know, they're going to they're going to help us win a lot of games and continue to be in the conversation for a national championship. The reality of, uh, you know, just the, the economics of what the, the COVID has caused everyone is, is going to make it a challenge. Um, we are going to, to need the community's help to, to raise funds um, to get these guys back in school. But so much of our success has been based on the support of the community, just the great crowds and just so much aloha for, for these guys, you know, coming out and competing every night. So um, we will have to uh, kind of work with uh, not only the university, but people in the community to, to help make that happen. But I think it's, uh, it's great news for us today and an exciting time for the program. What was your reaction to hearing the news? And, um, you know, how has this process been for you? Uh, this process to me has been like kind of a little roller coaster. Uh, at the beginning of when our season got canceled, I fell into a little bit of a uh, screw it type of category and gain some weight that I didn't need and kind of like was a little unmotivated and then about two weeks into quarantine I decided to turn that around and started doing uh, like daily workouts and eating healthier and taking care of my body and uh, really focusing on like doing well in the classroom and so when I found out about like everything like solidifying this morning I really like uh I don't know, like, it didn't surprise me, but I'm like, I'm glad that, like, there's finally, like, uh, affirmative action that uh, I'm able to come back and uh, maybe earn a master's degree and um, play for the wonderful state of Hawaii. Same thing as Pat, you know, the past couple months kind of have been a roller coaster, just trying to make decisions. <laughs> um, and so my first thing is I kind of laid out all my options for the future and um, my best option was going back regardless whether we were allowed to play or not to get a master's in athletic training. So I began the process of applying for a master's at the University of Hawaii. Um, I was looking at a couple of schools in Washington, but I really fell in love with Hawaii. So I'd love to be back there doing my master's. I know the program in kinesiology. Um, but about two weeks after um applying there was talk about doing the manager's position for the volleyball team so i got in contact with charlie about that and hopefully if all goes well i can be the manager on the volleyball team as well um but no just this news for all the seniors out hawaii i've been um i've been in contact with a lot of the sports and you know just to hear that everyone not just the volleyball teams everyone at uh is going to be able to give uh, one more year to all those seniors, you know, for something pretty historic that's happened is pretty awesome. And I'm just really excited for everyone that's going to be able to come back. Yeah. So this, this decision provides closure in terms of, um, you know, getting to leave this uh, unfinished business kind of in the past now and moving forward. It's a, uh, it's an incredible opportunity for the four of us and not only the four of us, but the rest of the athletic department to bring uh, student athletes back that, that experienced um, a very difficult decision on, on behalf of cutting, cutting certain athletics um, and ending, ending uh, seasons for multiple sports throughout the country. Um, I think, you know, sports in America is extremely important. And I think this will kind of create a uh, kind of a revitalization and a resurgence for a lot of different programs, including ours. 
Um, I think sports are going to become an incredible, incredible uh, influence and, and spectacle for people to watch moving forward now that they really get to appreciate what, what it does for the community, uh, especially here in Hawaii with how important sports are culturally. The funding will not come from that athletic department, so we will have to look to the community for each of us to return and um, compete for the University of Hawaii. However, I think it's, it's definitely in our best interest, you know, pursuing uh, various graduate certificates, degrees, and programs, and getting a chance at another national championship. I think it's an opportunity that cannot be passed up, and I think we really look forward to bringing that revitalization of uh, uh, from this from this pandemic and moving into next year. Well, to be honest, since the moment I realized that the season is going to be canceled, I was really hoping for another opportunity to come back here. We just didn't know. And the news we received today, I think, were amazing. Uh, I really hoped it come down to it. I've never looked into another school. Kawhi is my spot and always will be. So it was either here or I'm getting back home. I was kind of worried because, you know, I have a visa and it expires soon. So I had to find a decision or leave. When it comes down to next season, I really think it's like, you know, when you guys say like, oh, I wish I had this knowledge one year ago. Well, I think we're in this moment right now. You know how it was, all four of us being seniors. What is it to have like a last game? And I think that really changed our mindset going to the next year. We're realizing where we, where our mistakes are, where our strengths are, and trying to focus and be the best we can, not only saying it, but actually doing it. Because I think there was a lot that we can improve going into the next season.